Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the new Serato DJ version 1.7.4 which is now out in public beta for you to download and try out. 1.7.4 brings a couple good new features to Serato DJ and those are Beat Jump and the Buffer King Easter Egg feature uh, which is not an Easter Egg anymore, it's a full feature. Uh, also, 1.7.4 brings club kit support for various mixers. Uh, this club kit is an expansion pack add-on that will cost 169 US dollars. And this will give you DBS support and a Serato DJ license for the Pioneer DJM Nexus, the 850, and the Allen & Heath Zone DB2 and DB4 mixers as well. So this is a good way to get into Serato DJ if you don't currently have any Serato DJ hardware or mixers. You know, if you already own a bunch of Serato DJ uh, controllers or mixers, $169 might seem kind of steep. But if you never used Serato DJ before, you have no previous uh, Serato DJ or Scratch Live hardware, I guess it's fairly cheap to be able to get into Serato DJ with DVS functionality and a full license as well. In addition, there is new accessory support for the Allen & Heath K1 MIDI controller and a bunch of bug fixes as well as with any new version of Serato DJ. So let's get into the two big new features in 1.7.4 and that is the beat jump functionality and the... I guess it is now called EQ Colored Waveforms and not the Buffer King. I first recommend you go look back at my video I've done on the Buffer King, uh, understand how it works and what it does. Basically, it changes the EQ, the color of the waveform depending on how you have the EQ knobs on your mixer or controller set. Uh, it's a really good functionality feature as well. It's a good way to visualize how the track sounds, I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, but we'll take a look at that later. Let's look at Beat Jump first. So, uh, in the setup menu on the DJ Preferences tab, you're going to want to check this box, Show Beat Jump Controls. Now, that is going to add another row of numbers basically right here. Uh, the top row is going to be your normal auto loop lengths, and the bottom row is going to be your Beat Jump amounts. So the way it works is you select any of these values, uh, pretty much the same as the Beat Jump, uh, the regular auto loop values. Then you have your left and right buttons over here. Uh, left will be jump backwards into the track, the right button will be jump forward into the track. And this is all MIDI mappable as well, and there will be uh, default controls for it if you own a Serato DJ controller. Uh, it's going to vary from controller to controller, but most of them should have uh, beat jump uh, controls uh, built in uh, once uh, 1.7.4 goes final. So let's load a track and uh, play around with it and see uh, how it works and how it sounds. Get the track started right up here. And let me turn that up. And it might look different depending on which video you in. So let's go into vertical. Uh, that was horizontal, extended, stacked. I guess it looks all the same. Obviously, library control. It can have uh, the controls on it. Uh, let's stick with horizontal. All right, so the way it works is select any of these values and then basically just hit the left or right buttons or map it to your MIDI controller or. Uh, on your normal Serato DJ controller. So if I select two, it's going to beat jump two beats forward or backward into the track. Now, you might, you might not even notice that I even did that there. But that's how seamless it sounds, especially with the quantize on, which I recommend you do keep on with the beat jump. Let's go to 32, that'll make it a little more obvious. So keep your eye on the white triangle playhead indicator right here. You can see there, it's a lot of fun to play around with, jump around in the track. It's a good way to uh, kind of remix on the fly, especially once you start looping sections, and uh, especially if you want to get real crazy with four decks all synced up and loops going and all of them. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play around with. I ain't going to get that crazy into it, but um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, so that's just jumping, you know, jumping forward or backward in the track. This also works with loops as well. So let me loop a little eight bar section and get the track going again. So this time though, it's not gonna, it's still gonna jump the track, but it's gonna keep the loop, it's gonna stay in the loop and it's gonna move the loop along that round. So I select 16 this time. Let's go backwards. So you can see it's uh, you know shifting the loop and the playhead 
16 beats. So there you go. So that is the beat jump feature functionality. Let's next take a look at the EQ colored waveforms, aka the Buffer King Easter egg feature. So in the setup menu on the library and display, you're going to have a new option here, EQ colored waveforms. Now, this feature is only going to work with controllers and mixers. This is not going to work with SL boxes uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, the SL box basically just outputs the deck sound. Um, there's no communication between the mixer and Serato DJ, the program, to know where the EQ knobs are. Uh, mixers and controllers, though, obviously have this functionality uh, in the in the protocol. So uh, this is not going to work with SL boxes, but uh, it'll work for any of the Serato DJ mixers and controllers. So if you watch the other video on the Buffer King, basically what it does is changes the color of the waveform depending on where you have your EQs uh, set at. So if I kill all the knobs, it's going to be just a gray-black waveform and you ain't going to hear any sound. Uh, let's bring up just the base now, and that will be just all red, basically. Mids would be all green. Blues will be, or reds, excuse me. Highs will be all blue. So it's a good way to visualize how the track sounds, I guess is the best way to put it. So you start, you know, messing with the EQ knobs, and that will basically change the color uh, and the intensity of the waveform. So that is the EQ colored waveforms, aka Buffer King Easter Egg feature, which is not Easter Egg anymore. And thank God, because that damn stupid Morris code trying to activate it was a pain in the ass. So that's uh, pretty much it for 1.7.4. Go download it now. It's a public beta version, so please be diligent with it, and uh, you know, don't use it at your gigs unless you feel comfortable using beta versions. So just play around with it at home. So that's my first look at 1.7.4. New features: Beat Jump. EQ colored waveforms, club kit support uh, for a few mixers, and a lot of bug fixes as well with any version uh, release of Surrounded DJ. So go ahead and download it now. Try it out.